Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, my name's Kerry, I'm a mum of two um, and I love everything, makeup, beauty, skincare, that kind of thing. And here on my channel, you'll find shopping hauls, unboxings, um, like subscription box unboxings. Um, you will find some fashion items, you will find some get ready with me's, you'll find makeup declutters, that kind of thing, all that good stuff. Um, and if you're not new here, thank you for coming back. Um, it does mean a lot that you continuously watch my videos. Um, but yeah, so um, if you are new here or if you're not new here, but you haven't yet already, please don't forget to subscribe. Um, and also ring the bell so that you'll know when I've uploaded a video. Um, and also, obviously, don't forget to like this video if you like this kind of thing. Um, so my baby is awake. She's in the other room. She's playing with the toys. So if you hear any baby noises, um, that's all fine. Um, and yeah, apologies for the filming setup. Again, because I've got a baby, um, the room that was going to be my filming setup is no more because that's now baby's nursery, um, which is obviously fine. That's no problem. She needs a bedroom more than I need a filming space. So I am kind of just trying to film anywhere I can in the house and at the minute this little corner of the dining room is the most convenient place. Um, but yeah, anyway I'm babbling now. So, um, as you can tell by the title and by the thumbnail, um, I've been shopping again. Um, so I did an order on Ofra's website um, and then I also did an order on Elf's website. So I just thought I'd show you what I got. Um, there's quite a lot from Elf, I'm not going to lie. So we'll go through the Ofra stuff first. Um, so all this stuff was in the sale. I can't remember how much I paid for it all, but I know it was definitely less than 100 English pounds. I think it was like a hundred and... $17 or something like that including shipping. Shipping was quite expensive I'm not gonna lie um, but overall I'm happy with what I got and I did check the price on Beauty Bay and it was cheaper to get them direct from Ofra's website in the sale um, than what it was to buy them from Beauty Bay in the UK. Um, apologies for my hair being up um, as I've said I've got a baby she pulls my hair it falls out so the easy solution is to just tie it up. Um, but yeah, so the first thing that I bought from Ofra um, is this brush cleaner um, and disinfectant spray. Um, I just, it's really sticky here. I just bought this just because obviously you can never have enough brush cleaner. Um, I go through it so much. Um, it smells, it actually smells quite nice for a brush cleaner. It's really sticky though, I do need to wipe that. Um, but yeah, so first thing I got was this uh, brush cleaner. I believe that's just a like a travel size um I, I don't know if there's a bigger size than that i know that the one that i get from cinema secrets i think it's called that's a lot bigger um but yeah so i just thought i'd give theirs a try see what it was like um next thing that i got this so they sent me this little tiny mini lipstick in the shade las olias um i don't think i've ever seen a lipstick that small ever um but yeah so they sent me that um i don't know if they sent me it because i i spent so much um i mean i really don't think i spend that much but um yeah so they sent me that so that's the shade there it reminds me of a mac shade um that i was wearing the other day actually and it also reminds me of 1983 by um urban decay so that was free anyway um because when i first opened it and i saw that i was like oh my god i didn't realize the lipsticks were going to be that small because i think the lipsticks were only like seven dollars each or something um, I then got the Ofra Pro Palette, um, Glow Into Winter Palette. Um, so I checked on Beauty Bay, this was still £99, but I know 100% that I think I paid about, about $25 for this or something. I just thought it was really pretty. I've always, always wanted one of these. Nice, nice big mirror. Um, but yeah, it just looks like that inside. So you've obviously got the famous Rodeo Drive. Um, then you've got the Americano bronzer. Um, and then up here, you've got uh, Pillow Talk and Star Island uh, highlights. And then you've obviously got your banana powder and then essential bronzer. Um, and then the shade, you've got Triple Black and Country Road down here. And then for your eyeshadows, you've got, I'm trying to make sure that I'm doing them in the right order. So you've got Plum, Godiva and Khaki. And then on the bottom row, we've got Millennium Pink, Bliss and Gold Rush. Um, so yeah, so that just looks like that. And yeah, like I said, I've always wanted one of these palettes, but they're just, they're really expensive. Um, and I got an email from Ofra. I don't know if she if they're normally discounted like that. I don't know, because I never normally check, honestly. 
um but i got an email from her i thought oh let's have a look what's in the sale and i saw it and i was like right i need to buy that i just need to buy it i'm not going to get it that cheap ever again so um yeah so like i say i don't know if that's like thing like an offer that they do all the time so don't generally check the website um i then got this the nudes um lip set i thought i'd ordered some separate lipsticks but maybe i didn't i can't remember how much this was um but i got the shade manila which just looks like that which is like a really nice nude muted like pinky brown um and then got bella which is this like really nice like brown obviously they're all nudes and then i got dubai which is this sort of like a cool tone brown so really really pretty um i've never actually tried ofra's lipstick formula um i've bought them for gifts of people i've just never actually bought them myself and i don't i don't really know why if i'm honest um but yeah so really really excited to try them i've heard that the formula is amazing um so yeah really excited to try them again i can't remember how much they were and they've not sent me a receipt or anything they just sent me this which is just advertising their new collection um which is the lotus collection which actually looks really really pretty and then the last thing that i got from ofra is uh, a charm your cheeks mini mix palette so this is i think again this was about i don't know 15 16 dollars or something it really wasn't expensive um so it's just a selection of their blushes um and i'm really getting into blush um so we've got candy apple uh mai tai which is that one uh pink satin i'm doing these in the right order right yet yeah. and then we've got coral no we can't have they're not in the right order are they because apparently that's coral crush uh that's fire orange and that one's rendezvous um but you can pop these out as well um so maybe they've just been put in in the wrong order but annoyingly they don't have the names on the bottom of the pans but yeah i'm really really happy with that um again never really tried over as formula the only thing i've ever really tried from them is the rodeo drive highlighter which i bought because everybody was on the hype about it um and i've got a single shadow and i, I don't actually know where i've picked that up from but i've picked that up along the way from somewhere so that was everything that i got from Ofra now moving on to elf so i've got a lot of stuff in this bag um i didn't buy as much as what it looks um so i don't know if you know but if you shop on elf's website um i didn't buy as much she says look at the receipt oh my gosh um if you shop on elf's website um you get you become part of the beauty squad um and every time you buy um you get points and i think I don't know if each amount is worth a different amount of points or if each product is worth a different amount of points. I really don't know how it works. Um, so anyway, when I went on, I had so many points and I thought, well, I might as well just use them. So I got a free gift. I can't remember what it was that I chose. I feel like this is what I picked up um, using my squad points. And then I also got £7 off the entire order because um, I just used some squad points. Um, so yeah, so I got this Hydrated Ever After Skincare Mini Set. I love Elf, skin, Elf Skincare. It does what it says on the tin. The packaging is really, really pretty and minimalistic. It's really aesthetically pleasing. Don't get me wrong, I've had a few misses, definitely, but overall, I, I love Elf Skincare. And this is a perfect way to try it out because these little kits are like 10 or £12 or something. And then if you like it, the full-size products are usually about, I don't know, 8 to £10. Um, I think some are a little bit more pricey, like maybe 12 to 15 but... There's not many that's that's expensive, but in here, so we get the Holy Hydration Face Cream, we get the Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Mask, uh, Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm, which I actually bought that, uh, the Holy Hydration Face Cream, Holy Hydration Daily Cleanser, and the Hydrating uh, Booster Drops. So that just looks like that. And yeah, I think, I don't think I paid for that. I think that's what I used my points for, I think. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, I did get £7 off the entire order as well. Um, and then, so the reason that I actually bought this um, was for this um, cleanser. I thought something had spilled then. It's like a little goldfish. Um, but yeah, it was for this melting cleanser. So it comes with a little spatula. I'm not going to lie, that's going to get lost because I'm useless with stuff like that. Um, but inside, so I currently use the Body Shop. 
can't remember what it's called now but it's a body shop one anyway i've used it for years i really like it i don't think that there's anything wrong with it but this just smells so so good um and yes yeah, so i thought i'd give that a go it's 10 pounds so it's about the same price as the body shop one honestly it doesn't look like there's much more product in it um but obviously elf's just a little bit easier to grab um just because it's in boots it's in super drug you can order it on most websites whereas body shop unless i'm in the like shopping center or i'm doing a big order online which is hardly ever because I, I, body shop's just one that i always forget about else just easier to get hold of for me so yeah i thought i'd give that a go um then i also bought the cookies and dreams uh single scoop face sponge just because i thought it was really cute um so i thought i'd give that a go can't remember how much that was and of course i also got another elf camo concealer sponge um because this is literally like my favorite sponge of all time um th and that's above real techniques it's above um beauty blender it's above um eco tools and there's a few others um but yeah this this particular one though not elf in general just this particular one is like my favorite ever um yeah um i then bought i can't remember what i bought and what what i didn't buy so i know that i definitely bought these so i got the two setting sprays so we got the stay all day blue light micro setting mist doesn't say whether it's mattifying or glowy or anything like that that just looks like that and then i got the dewy coconut setting mist which i don't i think that this is meant to be a dupe of the huda um glowy setting spray stuff um which i've got um but yeah so i thought i'd give that one a go as well i've seen a few people mentioning the elf setting sprays and i've never tried them um i've got the original one the one in the little black square bottle um i got that in an advent well i got both of elf's advent calendars last year um and i got one in each of them um but yeah so looking forward to trying these these i know one of them i bought and one of them i got free because i'd spent um a certain, i think over 25 pound you can choose two free gifts and over 35 pound you can choose three free gifts um so one of these i feel like the white gold is the one that i got for free but everybody goes on about these and i just don't know why i've never bought them i really don't um because i really really like elf i really love their products so i want to swatch this um but this is the metallic flare highlighter so it just looks like that in the pan like look how shiny it is already that's so that's really really pretty oh oh i really like that that's really nice so that one is in white gold so i think that'll be a perfect match for my skin so i'm not gonna swatch the rose gold because i think that i'd, I'd i think that's the one that i got for free so i'm not gonna swatch that one um just because i'll try this one on my face if this is too light then i'll open this one but if not i'll pass this one along to a friend but this one really really pretty um i then got this blush i bought both of these ones um so i got the uh primary infused shimmer blush blush and this is in the shade always cheery and then i got the just the uh primer infused blush um and this one is in the shade always punchy um so just two slightly different pinks so the shimmer blush just looks like that it's just got a little bit of pink reflect in there looks really pigmented looks like that looks like it would blend out well though yeah and just leaves you with a nice little sheen <clears throat> and then we've got the matte version um which is the primer in just primer infused blush um and this one is in always punchy on the website these just look really pretty and i think these were in the sale as well i know that this whole elf order ended up costing me less than 100 pound so it just looks like that in the pan really pretty looks like that and just looks like that there so it's a little bit more pink than i would normally go for but i've heard really good things about the elf blushes and um, so really excited to try that I then bought this again it's another one of them that everybody goes on about and for some reason i've just never ever picked it up um i'm not going to swatch it because if i swatch everything we'll just be here all day because there is quite a lot to go through um so this is the glow gleam beam 
um, and I, again I feel like I'm really late to the party on this one but um, it does look really really pretty um, I can't wait to try that on my face so it doesn't really give you any shade names um, but yes I thought I'll give that a go everyone says how good it is um, and I just for some reason like I said just I haven't picked it up yet and I think that was in the sale as well I can't remember what it was reduced to this is another one again that everybody talks about and I've just never ever picked up and this is the elf halo glow setting powder I think I've always just stayed away from this because the halo part of it scares me um but everyone says it's really not that glowy um I got it in the shade light clear I didn't even know that there were shades on it I thought that it was just translucent um but yeah so i thought i'd give that a go um hopefully it's not shimmery um but yeah i thought i'd definitely give that one a try and again it was really cheap i think even at full price it's only about 10 pounds um i then got the so this one i did get free so this is the love triangle lip filler liner um and this is just in the shade light brown see even my receipt like it doesn't actually like tell me what i paid for and what i didn't so i'm just interested i don't know if this is like an actual just a lip liner oh what oh yeah so it is it's just a lip liner it just looks like a pretty nice standard brown so yeah happy with that and it's retractable as well um this one i definitely bought so this is the power grip primer um again something that everybody goes on about i really want to try the milk one but it's just so expensive um so i thought i'd give this a go first and just see see if i liked it i know it's not exactly the same don't get me wrong but i thought it'd give me a general gist of whether or not i like this type of thing um so it's just a green primer and oh my gosh yeah it really is sticky doesn't smell of anything elf doesn't usually smell of anything um and that's another reason why i like their products as well but no that feels really really nice actually so and yes i did just wipe it all over my pajama bottoms um but no it does it smells really it feels really really nice it feels sticky so yeah definitely excited to try that and if i like it then i might try the milk one i feel like i got this for free um so this is one of their bite size face duos um and it's in the shade cantaloupe um, I'm not sure that I'm going to keep this just because I, I didn't pick it up because I wasn't really that interested in it. Um, so I don't know. I'm going to think about that, but I'm not going to swatch it for now. This, honestly, I, I wouldn't be able to use as anything um, just because it's way too pale. But this, I'd probably get away with as a highlighter. But then I think to myself, you know, is it going to be anything similar to what's in, in there? Um... I mean, honestly, maybe not. I don't know. We'll have a look. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I don't think I'm going to use that. I think I am going to pass that on. But that I did get that for free. Um, I then bought the e.l.f. Tone Adjusting Face Primer. I feel like I bought this. Maybe I did get this for free. Um, and it's green. Um, yeah, so that just looks like that. I think that's one of just their like classic products. And then the last thing that I got from e.l.f., um, again, because everybody goes on about how good this is, I got the Big Mood Mascara. So it shows you a picture of the wand on the side, so it just looks like that. A little bit like the Better Than Sex one, I think, and the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. But yeah, everybody says how good this mascara is. Um, and I'm one of them people that honestly does get FOMO, so if someone says something's brilliant, I want to go buy it and check it just smells like a mascara i don't know why i need to sniff it but the one just looks like that so really really excited to try that i am going to try that tomorrow um but yeah guys so that's everything that i bought from elf and ofra it really doesn't tell me what i ordered and, and what i got for free um but yeah so anyway guys what do you think of today's haul do you think that I did well um do you think that it, i've wasted money have you tried any of these products um are there any products that you have tried that you think oh my god i'm definitely going to recommend that um let me know down below but yeah um if you like this kind of video obviously don't forget to thumbs up just so that i know to continue viewing them because i'm constantly buying stuff um part of that is because i'm on maternity leave and i am bored um but yeah so let me know leave a comment down below and obviously if you haven't already don't forget to hit the subscribe button anyway guys that's it from me today um so yeah thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye